We have a treat for you tonight. We have a chap by the name of George Hardwick, who uh, has been sitting at the back taking notes. Now, I know a lot of you have been taking notes. Why am I holding this chair? Don't know. No idea. So, uh, I know a lot of you have been taking notes, but he's, he's been doing it on his iPad, and he has this unique talent of uh, taking notes, which he's going to... Um, I'll keep talking because he's not mic'd up. He's going to do it in a form of... Uh, well, we'll see, won't we? You know, a form that will be um, allow it to be more memorable, shall we say? And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it. I hope he's connected. Please welcome George Hardwick. <laughs> can you guys all hear me? Yeah. Fantastic. Can we just can we just give this guy a massive round of applause? For So, really I wanted to invite you guys to relive what has been a day that could be so important for our Earth. Every moment is the most important of our lives, and today has been incredible. So my gift for you tonight is to wrap up the highlights of a day when contribution truly did shine bright. What delight that in the blazing sun so many gathered to show what pay it forward has become. As one, we collected under the watchful eye of Mr. Nelson to share with a stranger a book that could truly help them. Some swapped and shared, all showed they cared. Imagine a world if all could dare to take the energy of our dancing and create solutions built on the benefits of amazing contributions. Now have no confusion. Tonight's speakers gave incredible insights on how the game of contribution is played. Rainmakers who are paying it forward, aiming for peace one day. We each have a gift to give. There's no one way. And there's no wrong way, and this was clearly displayed as we networked our ideas and connections were made. Now our first speaker wrote his name into marathon slowness world record fiction, but now making reigns the game of Mr. Mike Dixon. The serendipitous gift of doing something mildly heroic meant WizKid was born, and Mike tried to devotedly grow it. His aim tonight was showing how we each can learn what's truly enough and can each become super women and men of love. Mike offered us the handy lessons of a management guru whose example we can use in all that we choose to do in our lives as we live day by day. Just how much are we willing to let waste away? From today, can we ask, do I really need this? Will my life suffer if I really choose to leave this? Because keeping in mind what's truly enough can help you to make the day of a person who's nearly given up. Because the real stuff of life, it's to help one another. For at heart, aren't we all just sisters and brothers? But we've smothered our capacity to truly receive, even if lucky Heather isn't something we need. Because <laughs> it's when we give as a team that we truly shine. Is there any mountain that humanity is unable to climb? Now after break time, Charlie Johnson stepped to the stage to talk about the impact paid forward can make. Now, the greater it gets, the less he wants to be speaking. But his is a gift that our world is urgently needed. Keeping happiness as the highest of the values we treasure ahead of diamonds, platinum and material pleasure. Is it ever enough? We waste time buying things with money we don't have. Watching TV suffering to make ourselves feel glad. Now, pay it forward's got no plans. Who cares if it's crazy? If its pure intention is to see a world that's amazing. So how do we care more? How can we grow the trust? Well, for Charlie, simplicity is the absolute must. Have we not had enough? Do we need to fight anymore? Soulmates, let's articulate the great that we are striving for. Because all it takes is one inch, one step at a time. We know for our youth a better future we have to design. Because at age five, we all are possessed with a kindness that shone. What happened? Where's that love and generosity gone? But one moment, one idea can bring it all together. Pay it forward is that. It doesn't have to be clever. Because whether you've got no money or you get richer day by day, you can still be an amazing part of a brand new way. So in closing, I say that we change the world every moment we choose to light up our spark by doing what we love with all of our heart. So let's harness our success resources to unleash our infinite power by contributing love every second 
of every minute of every 24 hours. Thank you. 